Corley here, and I'm going to show you how to record Second Life voice chat on your Mac with Wiretap Studio. I've tried many, many programs, and this is the most elegant I've found so far. That's why I continue to use it. Well, actually, I was previously using Wiretap Pro, the predecessor, and now Wiretap Studio has added features like an editor. So it can be somewhat more complex, but it's really straightforward, as you'll see. So if you come over here and you just download the free trial and you want full functionality, you can purchase it and it will give you a disk image which you can install. And of course, I already have it installed and I believe you'll need to restart so it can install a system audio extension which records your computer sounds, aka system audio. And you can record from any program, Second Life, whatever you can hear coming out of your computer. Like it claims, if you can hear it, Wiretap Studio can record it. <laughs> There's a bit of infomercial spice for you. So let's go ahead and get it started and let's have a basic look at the controls. Now, when it started, you'll see there's a floating window right here. And this is where you need to make sure Mac audio. All right. And you can select a specific application to record like Second Life or else it'll record everything. And do note, though, that you should disable other programs or mute them anyway, because that might be distracting if you're trying to conduct an in-row meeting. And from here, this part might be blank at first, like none. You'll have to make sure to record a specific input device, like your microphone. Right here, it's my Logitech default uh, USB headset, which I've got on. So both of these are set to go now. And one more thing, set the format, click here, and instead of any of these MP3 ones, just select WAVE or AIFF. Well, WAVE, uh, you can read that on Windows too, well, both of these. It's just simpler because this is lossless, better quality, because when you, for example, edit into a podcast and deliver it on the internet, you're going to want to squash the bits down. So this preserves things, and like the old saying goes, you can always edit down, but regaining that quality is going to be a PITA, if you know what I mean. Just stick with that. And it floats on top of everything. So as you'll notice, it floats on top of Second Life as well. Now, with Second Life started, you're going to want to make sure all these controls are set correctly. Like, for instance, if you don't want these user interface sounds coming in during your recording, you can mute that, mute ambient, mute the in-world sounds, and just leave voice present. And then let's go ahead and find a place and make a sample recording so I can show you how all that works. Cool. So a voice chat is happening here. It was it was epic. And we can go ahead and record that. Let me bring up Wiretap Studio again. You see voice lines, and when we're playing it, it will record. Let's uh, go ahead. It's beyond word. Testing, testing. It will record my voice too. I'm Keep going to go into SL show business now, carrying around a gay man singing black and gold intriguing <laughs> that's second life for you keep in mind if you do have your microphone set here to record as well it will stop that so i can show you what that's like you want to set to none if you don't want to record yourself speaking otherwise even if push to talk for yourself is off it will always record everything you're seeing through the mic like i am now but here we have the the waveform and you can go ahead and edit it you can see it's nice and healthy a bad sound as if it's completely flat so let's play it Let's uh, go ahead. It's beyond word. Testing, testing. It will record my voice too. I'm Keep going to go into SL show business now, carrying around a gay man singing black and gold. <laughs> and you can see how this will scale to a larger meeting session discussion, whatever you choose. And make sure to let your participants know as to the best your ability that they're being recorded. That's just a nice thing to do. And you'll see that the waveform color of the other end, you can scrub, you can hear in real time, will be in a different color. It's sort of faded gray. So that's it, really. <laughs> After that, you can do more elaborate editing things if you want, but make sure you can, you can save a selection. And one more thing you want to keep note of in the window menu and library, here is where you can Go ahead and with your different recordings, they'll all be stored here automatically. So if you want to save it to another folder for an uh, editing in a program like Audacity, for instance, you can just right click, save lossless recording to folder, and you've got a copy right there and the originals can be in here as long as you want them to. Test, test, test before you ever get started. It's a sucky, sucky experience to go through and record an hour long meeting and you look at it and it's blank. And that's happened to me. I'm like, darn it. 
So that's why I'm telling you, do a quick pre-record session, ask some people to just go ahead and start talking, Too early for that. and you'll be in good hands, ready to record whatever you want to roll out and deliver to the world. Rock on!